what I found that was the hardest thing for me to learn when I was learning to take my power back was to actually trust my intuition. Yeah, just trusting that good feeling because it's like there's, there's nothing else to base on. And so it's kind of scary. Oh, yeah. But and then if it you have feels a, right and the opportunity is there. Yeah. I, in, in business, that's all you have is you have to learn how to trust your higher power, that source, that wisdom, because when you have a boss that tells you what to do all day long, okay, that's great. But when you're an entrepreneur, you don't have that boss anymore telling you <laughs> what to do all day long. Like we're just creative ideas and inspiration. That's what leads your, it's love that's leading your business, right? Mm -hmm. So um, my main blocks that I'm dealing with recently is um, it has to do with, well, fear of failure, but also part of that has to do with feeling safe where I am. So I am on track to become a professor and it feels safe. It feels honorable, prestigious, all of that. And I realized that it's not necessarily that I enjoy the work, but I enjoy the people. Yeah. And I'm looking at this other vision ahead of me. Um, you know, when I had that sales call, it was kind of like my future self was lifting me up to this other vision of um, reaching my full potential as a healer and spiritual teacher. Um, I mean, I grew up in a Zen Buddhist community my whole life. I feel like I've been preparing for this moment. But now that I'm continuously being catapulted and these new opportunities show up and is really shaking my roots, it feels very like I feel like I'm becoming untethered. And that's a very insecure feeling. And it suddenly feels like, oh, well, yeah, the old you is dying. Not <laughs> safe, not safe. The ego is like, you can't die. Are you kidding me? All these people are attached to who you are, including me, the ego. You can't die. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, there's a sense of like, well, right now my vibration is changing and I see that I am vibrating at a different level. And, but then there's nobody else around me who's vibrating similarly to me and matching my frequency. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, baby. Uh, I mean, look here. around you, look around you. <laughs> Listen, you girls, get together and connect with one another. Get, make friends here in this community because you guys get it. And you're right. A lot of the people in your life, your parents, your aunties, your kids, sometimes even your husbands, your partners, your wives, they're not going to get it. They're not on the same journey as you. That's yeah, why masterminds are yeah. so powerful. Connect with people that get it. Mm -hmm. But don't let that be an excuse. Let me like take out my rifle and cat, 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 You know, punch a few holes in that parachute that you're using to fly above your bullshit excuse. Right? Let me be that one for you. That's one of my favorite things to do. Right? Because let's be honest, you, you coming out as this new version of you is fucking terrifying. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. And your ego right now is using any colored kind of parachute to help you not land in that new version of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it uses fear to protect you. It's not safe. People, no one, no one's going to get you. Well, there's yeah. nobody around you that gets you. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are, what are, what are you, what are your other professors going to think? What is your family going to think? Yeah. You can't be that spiritual. How old are you anyways? Like, all the shit, man. <laughs> lies, lies. The ego uses lies. <laughs> here's, here's the real question to really think about this. As you can tell, I have some experience in this arena. Yeah. So watch, you know, the, the, the question I like to use to like take my shotgun, <laughs> cock the thing and blow a few holes in the parachute flying above the BS is, well, where in the heck then is this desire coming from? I mean, if you're going to go down one road or another, why don't you go down that road? Because the, the, you can choose which road to go down. I think my fear is 
is uh, I think I do have that belief that as I rise, I'll be more alone because there are no structures that keep me in the circulation with other people. You know what I mean? That's interesting. Write that down. (laughs) Yeah. That's really interesting. Again, write that down. Put it out on paper. Get it out of your mind and on the paper so you can you can take the 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 story that's moving your behavior and now become aware (laughs) of this story and this behavior and make a new decision and behave differently. Mm -hmm. So I'll be alone. If I'm so spiritual and evolved, I'll be all by myself and I'll be alone. Mm -hmm. Well, there's uh, 30 people on this call. (laughs) It's really interesting. <laughs> well, I think it's just more about, I know there are other people out there for me to connect with. It's just in my current immediate environment, even when people get to know me, they're like, oh, you're transcendent. You're like on a different level. And I suddenly feel like, does that mean we can't connect? Like, is that, does that mean you can't be my friend? It feels very like suddenly I'm entering this new role. Yep. That's definitely the ego trap right there. Not safe. You'll be all alone and then you'll die. (laughs) So different that you'll get ostracized from the tribe and then you'll die a lonely death. (laughs) You'll get judged and persecuted. All the witches are burned at the stake. Mm -hmm. Not safe. It's really fascinating Mm -hmm. to become aware of just how incessant that protective voice is. It protects you from transformation, but it's protecting you from failure. Yeah, but it's protecting you from like having a really fulfilled embodied life. Hmm, what's it really protecting you from? So question, you know, I had a mentor once who told me very spiritual mind, question your mind. The mind is like a computer. You know, when you go to delete a file, your computer's like, do you want to delete it? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, yes, delete. <laughs> but first you read it. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait. Do I really want to delete that? Hold on a second. And then you call your husband or somebody. Do I? You call this freaking Apple Care. What the heck is this? Do I actually want to delete? I don't want to blow myself up here. This is a computer. It's not going to an alligator. It's not going to bite you. <laughs> but that the mind is like that. It doesn't want you to delete the program files, man. Mm-hmm. That's your ego. And that's what we're all doing here right now. 